Scratch has got some great drawing tools and in this screencast we're going to be exploring the pen tools. The way I always start this is by getting my uh, students to draw out the initial of their name as you can see I've done here on this piece of paper. And the important thing to show is where the initial starts off. So for me it's in the bottom left hand corner. So if we click on motion, keep your eyes on these numbers here in the go to block. As I drag scratch around those numbers get updated and that's a really easy way for me to make sure he always starts in the right place. The second thing I've got to worry about is making him point in the right direction. He needs to be pointing up. So let's point in direction up and drag that over there and now no matter where he ends up on the screen I can set him in the right place and point him up. So let's do some drawing. If I put the pen down and then go back into my motion, my motion controls. I can try, let's try going 100. Click on that. Oh, I forgot to put the pen down. Let's try again. There we go. So he's put the pen down. Draw on the line and then I'll try 90 plus 45 is 135. Turn him around join those two together. So now I've got my set of blocks here which sets them back to the beginning and then these two which start the drawing. And this is a really nice application of solving problems and debugging. What we can do is we can test this program out little by little until it's right. So let's try that. Great. I'm slowly getting there. Maybe I needed to move a bit longer than that. Maybe another hundred steps. But it'd be nice if I could get rid of this stuff in between each time. So back in pen, let's use the clear tool to clear the line as the last thing we do. So now I can initialize, go to the right position, put the pen down, clear the screen, then try out my drawing code. And that's looking good. So let's finish this off quickly. and test that out. Great. I can make it a bit more interesting by changing the pen size. Let's set it to three and then maybe I'll set the pen color as well. And the way this works is when I click on it my pointer becomes a finger and I can choose the color. Let's choose the orange of scratch. So go back to the beginning, draw. Great. Now once you've got that far it's time to start doing some experimentation. So let's have a look at looping our initial. So over in the control section, we can grab one of these um, control, these loop blocks, put that around my drawing code, clear the screen, and then loop it. And you can see he's drawing over himself because my initial is symmetrical and I end up in the starting position for the next one and then exactly over the top. So if I want to make this a bit more interesting, back in motion, I could maybe turn a little bit extra. Let's see what happens now. Great. A nice kaleidoscopic pattern. And we can do fun stuff with the pen color as well. There's a nice thing here where I can change the pen color. Let's change the pen color by two each time round through the loop. And he's drawing a nice kaleidoscopic color changing pattern there.